Hi, welcome to this Qtile system. So this is the first time, real first uh, tutorial about Qtile. It's uh, 1906. So it just gives you a reference to at what point in time of the year it has been created. That's all, 2019, June. And that's for the release of June. It's mid-May now. And um, Qtile is up for tutorials. So if I want to start with that, what is Qtile? So I've prepared something here for you guys. Qtile is a tiling window manager. And lots of things, um, lo there are lots of more choices you can do, but it's the idea is that um, the tiling goes automatically. You don't need to drag it to the left, to the top or the, the right quarter or the left quarter or something like that. It does automatically. So we have here lots of things here. Uh, awesome, we've already that, done that one. I3 is there. Qtile is here, Xmonad is here. So, but as you can see, there are others as well. So Qtile, all right. Then you go to the Arch Wiki and you read about the Qtile uh, in this page as well. It's simple, small, extensible, and you start reading. Now, as you can see, we're done scrolling already. So it's still, um, well, can be still uh, made a lot bigger, this uh, page. But we have a Qtile website here, qtile.org official documentation and a person a window manager inspired by Qtile not a person let's have a look have not clicked on it yet also a tiling window manager okay so that would uh, distract ourselves uh, let's uh, not do that but um, everything you need to know is here on the docs the qtile.org and latest so if you want to find something uh, about Qtile then you can find it probably here. So as you see, I've clicked here, it seems already for the battery of um, Qtile. So if you're on a laptop, just made a new widget here so we can see how much uh, power is still there. But this is a desktop, so you'll not see anything here. Now, well, also important, uh, if you read all this and you've seen through it, gone through it, then you may wonder um, how do we install it? So it does not really matter, and that's important. If, if as long as you know that Arc Linux has three projects, right? ArcLinux.info has three projects. The one that uses the scripts is Arc Linux D, and the one that uses an ISO and you build it yourself, that's Arc Linux B. So how you install it doesn't matter. In the end, you have an Arch Linux base with Arco Spices and a Qtile system. So Arch Linux D is just long to install. I mean, an hour, two hours maybe, depending on your speed of your computer and the internet and all that. But an Arch Linux B is an ISO. You burn it and um, 10 minutes later you have a system that works. So that's the Arch Linux B. It's an ISO you download, you burn it on a USB install it with a graphical installer and it's ready. Let's say top uh, 20 minutes and you're running and you have all this available. So the point of this video is, well, first of all, let you get to know your general idea. What's the tiling window manager? So a super shift return is going to tile automatically these windows. And we have a small gap in between them just to show off that we have a nice wallpaper behind it and stuff like that. But basically a super queue will kill any of these uh, windows. And I just killed my Firefox, I, I believe. So that's the point. Um, whatever you use as an installation medium, be it Arch Linux D or be it Arch Linux B, it still applies and it applies for all desktops. So tutorials can be found in Arch Linux D, but it applies to anything really. So that's the point I want to make in this video. Cheers.